Wouldn't it be nice if there was a first day activity that your students could do that was engaging, would keep them busy for a while, but they could do it completely independently so that you didn't have to monitor them and you could spend those precious first minutes getting your students settled? I think I found it. It's the birthday envelope. Hello, Marielle here, and today's teaching tip is all about the first activity I do every year on the first day of school. But don't worry if it's well into your school year, you can totally implement this at any time. And the best part is this works with any grade level. First things first, supplies. You're going to need a big old box of stationary cards and envelopes. Make sure to get enough for each student plus at least maybe five or 10 extra because students sometimes make mistakes on this assignment. You're also going to want to pick up one of these coupon folders. And if you can't find them, no big deal. You can just use the box that the cards came in. Then print out your roster with your students' addresses and birthdays on it. You'll also want to make sure that each student has some colored pencils or markers at their desk and also a pencil to write with. It's really important they write with pencils so that they can erase it. However, I'm going to be writing with pen so that it shows up on camera. You'll also want to purchase some stamps, but those can be used later in the next step. Next, make a template that looks like this, or check out the description box for a link to one I made specifically for this video. If you want, you could also just write the information on the board. It doesn't really matter as long as everyone can see the directions. I found it's helpful to have two examples, one with the directions and one with a sample filled out like this. Of course, make sure the example has your school's correct information in it. It's really important that the return address is your school's address, and then the envelope is addressed to the student's home address. Now, put all the envelopes on the student desk and make sure the directions are displayed. Let them fill out all the info for themselves on their envelopes. If they happen to finish early, they can decorate them with colored pencils or stickers or whatever. Just be sure you periodically check to make sure that they filled out the information correctly. Also, kids rarely know their zip code, so be ready to help them with that. At some point, they're gonna ask, why are we doing this or what's this for? But don't give it away. Just say something vague like, oh, don't worry, you'll find out later. I mean, it's the first day of school. They're not gonna press their luck because it could end up being homework. When they're all done, collect the envelopes and put them aside until later. At the end of the day, check to make sure all the envelopes are filled out correctly. Then file the cards away in the school month order. You're going to do this by looking at the birth dates in the top right hand corner of each envelope. Now, here's the fun part. At the beginning of each month, or even every two weeks, depending on how many you have, pull out the birthdays for that month. You'll notice that the top right has the birthday on it, but this is where the stamp is gonna go and it'll cover it up. Then write them a cute little birthday card using the blank stationery. Sometimes I even like to reference the activity in my message, like remember when we decorated these cards on the first day of school? Doesn't that seem like ages ago? Drop the cards in the mail each month and you're done. I've been doing this for years and I cannot tell you how adorable it is when kids come running up to me the next day and tell me all about how they got a special birthday card in the mail from their teacher. Comment below and tell me your favorite first day activity and then watch this video all about the best filing system I've ever used for classroom materials. It's awesome and sure to lead to a clutter-free desk. 